these mannequins are quite high tech in the fact that you can pop an IV and give them fluids, you can shock them with a defibrillator. So as the students get further on in their training, they can actually use them for different types of scenarios. You can't really test a defibrillator on a real living person. My name's Sally Bricknell and I'm a lecturer here in Unit 2, which is our second half of the first year for nursing. And we've just integrated a lot more of the simulation into Unit 2. We've put in things like learning to auscultate a chest on a mannequin so that the students can get used to the type of noises that they're hearing instead of learning them when they got out there. And we call this high fidelity simulation. So the technicians will change the vital signs, will change the blood pressure, pulse, respirations and speak while we let them know what we want to change to depending on what the students have done. On a scale of 1 to 10, Rita, um, how painful would it be? It's, it's about a 9, it's almost 10. Real wow. bad, Rita, okay. I see it in the future, the mannequins are going to get more and more technologically advanced. Some of the newer ones actually have pupils that constrict and dilate to represent different types of injuries. So we can simulate different types of injuries where, as on a human, we can't really simulate anything like that. I wish that we'd had things like this to work with when I was a student. It would have been really good if I'd have been able to go out there knowing what I was listening for when I listened to a chest. Knowing what abdomen sounds sounded like. Because a lot of that learning had to be done out there on the job where you've got a lot of other things to concentrate on. So it actually just gives them a little bit of a head start, I think.